Hey y'all, I got uh, asked to do my everyday uh, makeup routine. So um, I am gonna show you products and what I do just for everyday makeup. Um, sometimes I use a BB cream and sometimes I use a real foundation. Um, it kinda depends on what I have to do. But um, tonight I have church, so um, what I usually use on my face, which is probably going to be uh, backwards, is the Mary Kay Time Wise Luminous Wear in Ivory 2. Um, and I do usually put foundation on with a brush. Um, sometimes I, I don't use a brush. Sometimes I use um, a sponge. But uh, the lady at Sephora the other day, I was like trying to find another uh, foundation. And... She was like, do you put your makeup on with a brush or do you put your makeup on with um, a sponge? And I was like, well, um, I said it really just depends. And if you see me looking over to this side, it's because I do have a mirror over here. And um, I'm going to kind of look at both things. But uh, anyway, so she's like, well, you really should put your foundation on with a brush. You get better coverage, da 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 and so I said, well, I have one, so I'll, I'll try it. And I really do like it. I think in general it does go on better. Um, but sometimes I feel like it makes you use more product than you need, if that makes any sense. So anyway, let's just blend this out. And I know on camera that this looks like extremely the wrong color, but I promise you it blends really well. What type of makeup do you use? Do you use a drugstore? Do you use high end? Um, I use mostly Mary Kay stuff uh, with some drugstore and some high-end products mixed in. Um, I sell Mary Kay, so I tend to always have like tons of their products, but okay. So foundation is on. Um, everybody puts their makeup on in a different order. I know at least from my experience, everybody puts it in a different order. Uh, but next, I usually like to put on a concealer. Now, I don't need tons because the foundation does a pretty good job. And, I mean, you can see it it pretty much matches um, my complexion. It is a little light. Um, in the summertime, I usually use a... Um, Wintertime, I use an ivory two, and in the summertime, I use like an ivory three or four. Because even in the summertime, I don't really tan that much, so. But I put some concealer only underneath my eyes, and then I dot a little bit on my eyelids, and that is kind of like a primer for me, an eyeshadow primer, because I don't use one. So I just dot a little bit onto my lid. And just make sure that it's all blended in really well. And my hair is always in the way. <laughs> okay, so that is um, foundation and concealer. Uh, at this point, depending on the coverage that I need, like the time of the month or whatever it is, um, sometimes I use a, I'm sorry, my nose is itching, a um, mineral 
like kind of like a setting powder or um, I guess you could say it was a foundation. I am going to put a little bit on to add some color because I am not using a bronzer today. So. And this does, especially if your foundation is not really, it's kind of more of a wetter foundation, this will help you help your foundation set. Um, and by the way, I am not a, a makeup guru or a makeup artist or whatever. I am a mom of three kids who has 20 minutes tops to put on to do her hair and put on her makeup. And th so this is what I put on every single day. So this is just... This is me. This is what I use. Doesn't suit everyone. Everyone will have an opinion. So, uh, next is blush. I use a Mary Kay blush. Um, it's a pink color. It's called Shy Blush. Um, it has like a really pretty, um, like an undertone of a, like kind of not a shimmer, but I mean I don't know. I think it's really pretty. But I always think blush faces are funny. However you do it, do you like this? Do you like this? Do you do it like this? I do like this. And I just put some on my cheeks. It's not an art form here, people. And see, it's just like a subtle, but this does get blended in with my translucent setting powder so it won't be that won't be that bright okay next um I like to take this is by NYX and it is called their ultra pearl mania I don't remember what the curl the color of this is but it's kind of like a champagne pearl just a light shimmer and I take it and put it just up here on the top in my crease here and I have a bunch of different colors of this this just happens to be the one that I like the most but I just put it up on the brow line and in the tear in the corner of my little of my tear thing whatever you call that <laughs> just put it over there just put some over there okay so, after I do that, I take um, whatever kind of brush this is, <laughs> and it's a Mary Kay color again. It's called Amber Blaze. It's kind of like a copper, um, I don't know if you can see it on my brush. <laughs> no! Bless me. Kind of like a copper sunset color, and I just put it on my lid. And I can do this a lot faster. I'm just talking with everything. So usually this is no more than 15 minutes to do all of this. Um, but I just put it only on the lid. And then take the same brush I used a while ago, which it's a Mary Kay brush. And, um... You know, it used to say something. I don't know what it says now. But I think it's called, and our thing, it's just a plain old eyeshadow brush. But, um, whatever. It's a brush. I put some makeup on with it. You would think I would have myself prepared. Okay, next I use, it's called, St it's by Stila. It's called Kitten. And I just kind of blend this in a little bit. Just make it not so bright of a color. See what a difference that makes? I mean, to me, this is like over the top. This is a little bit more manageable to me. There are situations where vibrant color works, but not for everyday makeup, not for me. Okay, so that's everyday eyeshadow. That's my eyeshadow. I pretty much do this every single day <laughs> um 
Okay, for eyeliner, lately I have been using, um, it is by Urban Decay. And it is the 24-7 liquid eyeliner. Um, I'm sorry that dinging noise is going on. People are texting me. I apologize. And I think this color is Smog. Yes. Uh, Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner. And it's called Smog. And I just used this. Um, I probably don't really have to have eyeliner. I think it's more of a habit. Um, but I think this is a really good alternative to if you want something there but you don't want something that's so like it's not black or brown you know That's that. That's eyeliner on the top. And for the bottom, just for my waterline, um, I do take just a black. I think this one is Wet n Wild Mega Last Smudgeable. It was the cheapest one I could find. And I just go along my waterline. I don't think it makes a huge difference, but it does does bring your eyes out a little bit. Okay. Eyes done. Well, except for mascara. And um, before I put mascara on, nine times out of ten, I usually go ahead and put like a finishing type powder on. And I just use... Um, Mary Kay's translucent powder. Um, I really like it. And it lasts a really long time. And I just use one of these big fat ones. Big old fat brush. <laughs> just kind of blend the blush in a little bit so it's not so bright. Because remember, this is an everyday look for me. It's not going out or even though I have before um had no choice but like we were going on a date night and I didn't have time to change my makeup I've worn this before and it was fine no complaints from hubby okay um next sometimes I do this sometimes I don't um it's called what's up by benefit this is my sample one that I keep in my little but I have my makeup bag for my purse. But it's it's anything like a brightener or anything like that. And all I do with this is put it right here in the right in the creases, like the tear here. I have before uh, highlighted my cheeks with it and stuff, but that was for like going out type makeup. For lips today, I'm gonna use um Revlon's Lip Butter in Pink Lemonade. Couldn't remember what the color of this was called. I don't usually put very much on my lips. It's usually very something like this. Like pink and subtle and just pretty boring. But my favorite part of makeup is eyelashes. So I use Mary Kay's Ultimate Mascara. I don't even think you can see the name of it. There we go. Mary Kay's Ultimate Mascara. Um, my other favorite mascara other than this one is Benefits They're Real. That is my absolute... These two to, like together, sometimes I do one coat of this and one coat of that are my absolute favorite mascaras. But um, it's just whatever I have. I have several makeup bags. And stuff ends up in different ones, and, you know, right now, this is the one I have. I have pretty, um, pretty fine eyelashes, like, not fine as in, oh man, she's fine, but, like, the texture and the thickness of them is pretty fine. So, um, 
and they're kind of blonde. So if I don't put mascara on, you can't even really see that I have eyelashes. Okay, I will text you back. I love mascara face too. Have you ever noticed like when someone does a close-up video, maybe it's just me, you can see like all their teeth. Like if they've ever had work done on their teeth. I've never had a cavity. Never. Never. Never even have a feeling. Nothing. And I know you could shoot me for that, some of you, but it's all genetics, I promise. Like, my mom is the same way. Even though I do take really good care of my teeth, it's, it is partly genetic as well. Let's see. And also, depending on what I'm putting my mascara on for, whether it's for the day or if it's for going out, depends on how many coats I have on. But for the daytime, it's just one. One little old coat of mascara. All right, this is my everyday look. This is the makeup that I pretty much put on every single day. Um, it will vary. Sometimes I get brave and do different um, eyeshadow colors and different lipstick. But for the most part, this is what I put on every single day. And there's kind of a close-up of the eyeshadow. And um, the lips are really subtle, but... You don't need that much lipstick uh, for every day. But anyways, this is my everyday makeup look or my makeup routine. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.